Hi everyone, this is Alia and I'm back with another tech review. Today we're going to be reviewing, actually not reviewing, this is kind of a first impressions. Uh, this is the Good Karma Karma Tarot, the Good Karma Tarot. It's a beginner's guide to reading the cards as it says here. Uh, this is by Carrie Ward, 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 Ward. And it says that it's illustrated by Amy Blackwell. And I think it's publication O or <laughs> Mind, Body, Spirit, blah, blah, whatever. Uh, Welbeckpublishing.com. So you, you will find that everywhere, like Book Depository, Amazon, eBay, you will find it. So um, this is a newer deck. I haven't had the opportunity to work with it and explore it. So we're going to just have a first impressions, kind of a go through it so that you can see the cards and I'll be talking about it, see how I feel, if you care about that. <laughs> and I will come back with a, a reading of this, uh, using this deck for the month, I guess. So not this month, but some following month. So if you would like to watch how it behaves and reads, then do come back. Now, the box um, is very nice, hard box. Uh, the, the only problem I have with this box, it's bigger than what I would like. I like a little bit smaller than this uh, boxes. And my thing is, if, if you take out the book, so I'm going to take out the book and I'm just going to show you that it comes with this. Uh, the deck is inside here. So split in half with these two little things. So you might get uh, the deck that has like um, when you put in or you can see that they're not uh, the same exactly that you get this in the middle, but it's OK. Once you start using it, it won't show. Uh, that's like an older kind of a boxing that we used to get back in the days but it is okay i don't think i'm gonna be using this box uh so we'll probably uh, buy a little bag for my cards because here look at that now if you close it there's no way you can open it it doesn't like you really have to try hard and then just pull it so you don't get the little um like at the end the little that you can place your thumb in it and open it it's a little bit hard to open now, uh, the book, I haven't read it. I haven't had the chance. It's published in 2021 by O. There you go. You can see that. And it's called The Good Karma, Karma Tarot. And then we go into the major arcana, the minor, working with a deck. Okay, so more or less what we know. I don't see anything um, different here. All right, so it's the good karma major all right so it talks about the major cards what they mean what they are the full all right so the full uh, it has a good karma tip here so it just gives you tip every day is a new beginning for the full and then over here it just talks about the um, regular uh right away card so over here we'll be talking about this card as you can see and then it has uh, a description here. But it is about good karma. So it just gives you a direction of how you have to behave so that you have good karma. So it says here, be mindful that everyone else has their own pathways too. So be mi mindful, think of others, be nice and stuff like that. Um, you get a full image of the the card here, a big one, and then in the minor arcana, you get uh, the tip of the day, the, the tip of the day, the tip of uh, for for the, the card, and the explanation and what is the typical one meant to look like and read like. So that's about it. I'm pretty sure you get some. What is that? It's okay, I haven't. Okay, so some spreads. That's what I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure you get some spreads. And then you get something else that we don't know what it is. Let's see. Okay, so this is when I feel anxious, when I feel angry. Okay, so it has emotions. This is lovely. This is very nice. Oh, okay, it's only one page or one and a half. Uh, when I feel ashamed, overwhelmed, lost, confused. So... Uh, 
Is it what you need to work with or what they think comes closer to this emotion? It's either or, but it says here, we're going to put it the nine of swords, the moon and the temperance. Maybe it doesn't do what I was, I thought it was. So because in, um, what is it called? In the beginners, a series that I have for, to learn the tarot, I'm explaining how first you have to have a meaning and then you have to have an emotion for the card. And then you have to have an energetic, energetic, uh, blueprint of the same card so that you can read in different levels because we don't read the same uh, depending on, you read differently depending on the level. Most uh, readers that I see around don't usually do that and they read the personal reading as a general, as a zoomed in, zoomed out, like the, it's the, the same thing no matter how you read. And that is not how you're supposed to read because the energy has different expressions it expresses in a different way and it manifests in a different way. So the element, depending on the layering, comes across in a different way. But that's a different thing that we need to talk about. Why I'm mentioning this is because I thought that that's what they were doing here. And I said, I've never seen this in any book, nowhere to be found. So I was like so surprised that and impressed, to be honest, that it had that, but it's not what I thought it was. But no matter what, that's very nice that you have this here. I will be exploring and I will be exploring this book because I want to see what uh, they thought that the good uh, karma would mean for each card because I've never used tarot in that way and in that direction. So maybe we could do a reading for all the signs that it's about karma or maybe I'll come up with different ways of reading. I think I would like this book, but I don't know yet because I have not read it. No, when it comes to the cards. Now, the backs of the cards, I know they're not the best backs of the cards, but I do prefer the simple backs, just because I do professional readings and they're not disturbing to the eyes of the reader and the person that is getting the, um, the reading. So the size, this is the full from the regular original right away. And it's just a tiny little smaller, it doesn't really bother me. I, as I have said in the past, I like smaller decks, but because for, for me, this, this would be really, really hard to do a big spread, like a 21 card or so. Okay, so the card stock is pretty good. Thick, 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 very nice. I really like it. What I liked about this deck, I haven't, um, seen, all, I haven't seen all the cards, so I don't know what we're about to see here. But what I like is the coloration of it. It just looks very vibrant and very rich and very, it's, in, in the color and very nice, uh, very innocent, very uh, vivid. I don't know. It just looks alive. It just makes me want to read with this and have it in my collection. Uh, it makes me feel good and that's why I bought it. Now, I want to see if I could do uh, readings. What is it called? Personal readings with this. So I'm, I'm going to be looking into the core cards and see how they come across, if they're animals or if there's something else how is the, the majors, so we'll, we will talk about it. Now I said about the size, the cardstock, the bags, I think I've covered everything. So let's just go to um, into the cards. Let me just bring this on the side, just a little bit so it's in, I guess you can see it, right? Okay, all right, so this is the full. Okay, the magician. And another thing that I notice about this deck is that we do get a lot of diversity that I know a lot of people are seeking for in a uh, tarot deck nowadays. So if you if that makes a difference to you, uh, then this is a lovely deck. I have seen some of the cards and it's not only uh, white, beautiful people, it's just different um, gender, uh, race, uh, background, whatever you, you know, it's like you get females with short hair, long hair. It has a little bit of everything. You get tattoos, you get everything. So it's very, very nice for that. So the emperor is a female. That I would prefer for him to, for, for it to be um, a male uh, and the magician. I would prefer for, to see a male. Just because I use it, not only because of the energy, but when it comes to my readings, so the personal readings, because I draw the energy down, I, I need to have um, a lot of um, 
active male energy that I can see it because sometimes it might come across as the father mother or as the lover, <laughs> the other person. So I need to know who is who because I need to be able to see things because sometimes you do get these relationships that people um, kind of, um, how am I going to say this? Because I don't want it to sound not nice or um, disrespectful for some people. It's like there's people that they go with both genders. So if, if there's a female that would date a female and also date a male, then it's easier for me to just pick up on these, uh, on these things when I do personal readings. So I wouldn't mind if I drop the energy and I do a general monthly reading or a general love reading. But when it's a personal reading, I need my deck to perform at that level. And it's not a matter of ability of the reader, it's how your cards help you so that you can get a better communication with your, um, the lovers, that's very nice, with, with the person that you're reading for. Justice, so over here wouldn't really make a difference to me if it's a male or a female, because I would never uh, see justice as a person, so I would not personalize it, so it doesn't matter what it is. It, not even the hermit, so the energy of the card as a hermit is not personalized. Is, is an energy card more so you really don't care but other cards have uh, two or three meanings or two or three ways of using it now I think that I saw okay justice before and then strength it doesn't really matter here because I don't see the the numbers so it's not like strength is eight or eleven uh, probably the this is the way it was when I purchased this purchased this but you can just put it anywhere and it doesn't matter because it doesn't have a number and not, none of the cards have a number. Okay, that I did not pay attention to for the for the minor. Okay, the handman. Death. This is a lovely death. It's very easy going when it comes to the um, the images. Very nice. It, it, we said it's illustrated by Amy Blackwell. Just in case I didn't say. Okay, devil. Very nice. Now, the devil is not so devilish. We do get the depiction of what we're used to, but even like that, it would still work. It would be nice. I, I, I don't need this, but it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't make a difference. Now, this is the tower, and then the star is the one that we have um, here. The moon. Okay, so it's more on the secrets, uh, hiding, playing games which is very good for uh, personal readings. I would like to have the same, um, the equivalent in the sun and not a sun in a person, but it's just little things that they don't really bother me. It doesn't, it's probably because I saw them right next to each other or else I wouldn't even figure it out. Judgment, very nice. And I like how she's happy with judgment because this is the acknowledgement of um, knowing that you have done something wrong. The world okay so it's of ones so we get two three i just want to see if there's if they're numbered okay so ace of ones very nice two of ones very uh right away two of ones three of ones what we're used to but it's very um a contemporary art artwork very three of ones four and we do get like a little house back here. You can hardly see it, but you still get it. Five of Wands, they don't talk to each other. They don't like each other. Six of Wands. The Seven. Eight. And then Nine of Wands. I wonder what she's doing here. Holding her head. Hmm. And then Ten of Wands. Okay, Page. Page of Wands, Page of Wands, that's not bad, that's, that's okay, Page, the Knight of Wands, I'm not sure about this Knight of Wands, it could be an energy of a Knight of Wands, uh, but it reminds me a little bit of a, maybe a pentacle, I want to see what, what it is, so that, if it's clear, that's the exchange between them, them two, the Queen of Wands, and then the King of Wands. Very young looking king. Okay, no problem. All right. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Very nice. Very, very nice. Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. 
all them together, having a good time. The Four of Cups, another nice card. I'm really, um, I, I like the deck, that's for sure. I really enjoy it. And I said, it's just, I want to see how the swords come across. Up to now, I don't have a problem. I do enjoy the diversity. I do like that there is a lot of, um, we have gender, like males, females. So it's, um, I don't know if it's equivalent, like if it's uh, half and half, but I do enjoy that I have everything. So it seems that I'm gonna be able to do a personal reading with this. It doesn't seem that there is gonna be any difficulty when it comes to that. I don't get a lot of animals, that's the pages, <laughs> things that, you know, kind of, um, they're problematic for me for the personal readings. Now, 10 of cups, page of cups, page of cups, okay. Why? So the page of um, wands is cooking while the page of cups is serving. And how could that work? So is it like a progression of things? Like we're cooking to serve, but why the wands to the cups? The wands to the cups, to the earth. Okay, that could work. But then again, I don't know how this because it could work from the one to the cups like your your um cycle but then the serving is the the giving maybe yeah it could work so your yin yeah it could work now the knight of cups so he's exploring and he's having a good time in the water the queen of cups and the king of cups so the kings are young and then we have an ace of swords. So the swords. Okay. So here's more of the um, choosing a path, a direction. I do like that, the, this kind of depiction. Three of swords, very nice, easy going image. Four of swords. Uh, five, not bad. Six. Okay, so she's doing it by herself. There's no help here. She's moving on by herself. No one is guiding her. No one's leading her. No one's helping here. Seven of Swords. Bad attitude. Not good. Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And then the Ten. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. The Page. So we have a Page of Swords. So it's from the Swords to the Wands. So is it so is it from the sword? So you are giving the the order the the ones is making it, the cups is serving it, kind of a thing. The knight of swords, the queen, nice queen. Four of swords it has all these clouds here. Oh, okay, so he has the clouds as well. It's like they bought the same thing, the same costume, or a t-shirt, or shirt, or whatever that is. Okay, oh, okay, and he's young as well. And then Ace of Coins, Two of Coins, the Three, what is this? Over here, what is this? Is that her uh, cell phone? Is it? Maybe, maybe. Okay, the Three, the Four. <laughs> The five, six, the exchange we see it here. Seven of coins, waiting and nothing is happening. Eight of coins, nine of coins, okay. The family, very nice. And then the page of coins, the page of coins. Now the page of coins, so, um, I would like to know why they have a page of coins with a box. I have seen, it's like, depending on the deck that you're using, you might see um, uh, the core cards holding on to knowledge, holding on to wisdom, holding on to um, expression, like they're expressing their emotions through the books or reading or teaching. So it depends on how uh, the person that made the deck feels about um, the, the symbolism of the books. So I don't know how they're using it here because it's a coin. So it's more of the pentacle. 
Some decks might use it as the, um, the cups. So you might see a lot of books with um, the core cards that they have. Uh, can come up with a deck. I, I kind of I see it in my head. It's like you have this image of the deck in your head and it's just, I cannot uh, name it. It's like I cannot come, with, come up with a name of it, but it's okay. So it depends. So this is one of the cards that I would read. And especially because we go from a page of coins with the books to a knight of coins that is someone uh, that is doing some hard work here. And then the queen of coins. And then this lovely king of coins. Beautiful. I really, really, really like this deck. And I like it because I have a lot of males. It's not only females. It's males, females. Um, the only thing is that two major are kind of cards in the beginning that I would prefer to have my magician. And what else was that? The magician and the emperor. Where is that? Good luck finding it, huh? <laughs> the magician and the emperor. There you go. Magician, magician. Okay. These two, I will prefer to have uh, the males so that I can do my personal readings with this. However, I think I'm going to try it and see how it performs. Maybe I won't have a problem because it does come across as a little bit masculine here. I don't know if it could be the father, like the old fashioned father that we see a lot of times or a grandfather. I don't know if that would work. Probably not, but we'll see. And then the magician, the magician. Mm, I don't know. I would have to do some uh, a personal readings and say, uh, how the information comes across. Maybe I won't have any problems and it will be smooth. So this was the good uh, Karma Tarot. I really like this deck. This is very nice. Uh, there's no, no way I would give it away. I'm keeping it. I'm just going to put it in another bag so that I can uh, work with this. And to come back to see um, the behavior of the deck because I'm going to be using it. And we're going to do some readings that they have to do with Karma for the signs or something like that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this. Thanks for your support and your love and everything that you do for me. To come back, there's more coming up. Thank you. Bye-bye.